so today I wanted to film a little art studio tour. I recently kind of reorganized this whole room. I kicked out my husband and his work from home stuff um, because he's working in the office now. So I've kind of thought about this for a really long time, like how I wanted to lay it out. But overall, I have it like set up to kind of cater to my creativity uh, habits and art flow and stuff. So um, yeah, just thought I'd share my little art studio. Okay. So I don't want this to be too long, so I'm just going to briefly go over everything. Basically, the bottom two rows are my macrame materials. Um, that cubby over there has like some beads and jewelry making tools, but I don't actually make jewelry. I just kind of had, had those since I was a kid. I have yarn over here. I have clippings that I keep from all of my projects just in case I want them for something cute. I don't know. The top two shelves are mostly my art supplies. This side I have my machines, a laminator, a cutting machine is usually over here. I have some plastics that I keep for, I don't know, paint and keeping containers and I don't really know. Um, all of my colored pencils, markers, watercolor pencils, um, drawing pencils, crayons, this is mostly where I go for my, um, what's it called, my sketchbook sessions. Over there I have like some dried flowers, leaves, um, glass jars for paint mixing, stuff like that. This is like my acrylic painting area. I've got brushes, my acrylic paint tote, um, some canvases and some varnishes. These are uh, fabric bags that I sew and that's like my inventory. Although I'm not really promoting them right now so they're just kind of sitting there. All of my art books, art related books, are crafting in general. And then these are all of my papers sketchbooks, um, painting pads, things like that. Up at the very top is kind of a catch-all for things. I have like, this is a photo studio that I purchased when I used to blog. I've got some posters that need to be framed, a random cutting board that I use as a backdrop sometimes, paper cutter. This I usually put my swatch book on so I can see um, swatches while I'm painting. And then I've got birthday cards from my friends. This is where I keep all of my fabric paper clip stuff that I like to make. Um, the inventory is in these boxes. I have my paper clips here, my tools here, and then all of these drawers are the cut fabric strips that I use. I usually cut up the entire fabric piece and then I just keep these on hand from, for when I have to remake them. And then these boxes are kind of full of paper clips that I made a few years ago and I kind of pull from those because they're already made for when I'm restocking my inventory. So this desk is mostly for a workstation. I have my printer over there, my scanner, my paper cutter, and then the drawers are mostly kept empty as a catch-all for things while I'm working so I don't have to put it on my workspaces. This is the desk where I do most of my art. Um, these drawers are kind of unorganized, but I keep them mostly empty to, as another catch-all for things as I'm working. The drawer unit over here, I have like stationary stuff. I have sewing materials and then extra fabrics that I haven't used yet. And then up top I just keep my most used drawing pens and brushes, um, some bookmarks, a glue stick for some reason, but usually I keep my laptop here so that I can look at references or watch videos while I'm doing art. This is usually a workbench that I like to sit on while I'm doing my macrame projects and I will actually use my easel, the back side of it, for my holding up my macrame projects and then the other side for any large drawing or painting projects that I'm doing. And then the bookshelf next to it is where I keep my sewing machine, my iron, some camera stuff, um, and then extra sticks at the bottom for macrame projects. This is the more boring part of my studio. Um, I have boxes of made projects down here. This one kind of holds some canvases that I worked on that I don't really want to put on the wall and look at. I might paint over them and reuse them for something else. Um, these are scrap fabrics that I want to work on or clothes that I need to fix. Some packing materials, office supplies, papers, things like that. And then this is just an overview of the whole space that I have. I like to keep the middle empty for any floor projects that I'm doing. So yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed my little art studio tour. Um, it's not that impressive or like super organized or anything, but it's a system that works for me and I'm able to keep my workspaces pretty clean and it's easy to tidy up when I'm done working and stuff. So 
for me it's like super productive it's very motivating and it keeps me inspired which is the whole idea of having an art studio right so yeah anyways i don't know really how to end the video so bye